Hello, my fellow builders. Today I'd like to review what's new with the AWS IAM Identity Center APIs for visibility into workforce access to AWS. Customers wanted a better way to generate periodic reports and audit employee access to AWS to save time and effort previously spent on manual audits. Now you can programmatically inspect and verify an employee's AWS access with these APIs and use this information to recertify or revoke their access. Previously, you had to manually map user or group information with their AWS account details to build a complete view of which employees can access what AWS accounts and applications. Now you can use the APIs to get end-to-end -end visibility of the user or group what accounts or applications they can access, and which permission sets enabled the access. Now, with the List Assignment APIs for IAM Identity Center, AWS simplifies how to view who has access to what AWS accounts and applications. With these APIs, you can list all AWS accounts and applications that a specific user or group can access. Before we go into the details of the new APIs, Let's refresh our memory of what IAM Identity Center is and how it uses permission sets for centralized provisioning of human user access to AWS accounts and applications. IAM Identity Center provides a single place to manage workforce identity in AWS. This includes workforce access to two different resource types. The first is multi-account permissions to control your user's access to specific AWS accounts. And the second is single sign-on access to AWS managed and customer managed applications. For this demonstration, we will focus on multi-account permissions and granting access to your workforce to your AWS accounts. However, the new list assignment APIs cover both multi-account permissions and application assignments and behave similarly. Within IAM Identity Center, a permission set is a template that contains one or more IAM policies that can be applied to a user or group in one or more AWS accounts. The entitlement of a user or group to a permission set in an AWS account is called an assignment. When you create an assignment, IAM Identity Center creates a corresponding IAM role managed by IAM Identity Center in the target AWS account. The policies specified in the permission set are attached to that role. After your users sign in, they will be able to see the assignment and be able to federate into that role in the target account through IAM Identity Center. Now that we have had an IAM Identity Center refresher, let's return to the new list assignment APIs. So what's new? Let's take a look. You now have a subset of the SSO admin APIs to list account and application assignment by principle, which can be specified as either a user or group. The new APIs are number one, list account assignments for principle, and number two, list application assignments for principle. With list account assignments for principle, you can retrieve a list of the IAM Identity Center associated AWS accounts and permission sets that the principal can access. You can specify the type to be user if you'd like to list the account assignments for a specific user, or you can specify group to list the account assignments for a specific group of users. Similarly, with list application assignment for principal, you can list which IAM Identity Center integrated applications a specific user or group is assigned. Let's look a bit closer at how this works in detail. Let's look at a concrete example of how to audit the AWS account assignment for a specific user. The process to investigate a group or application assignment is similar. We will need to obtain some information first to build the necessary parameters for the list account assignments for principal API call. In particular, we need to know the instance ARN of our IAM Identity Center instance, the identity store ID of our implementation, and the user ID of a specific user we want to audit. The instance ARN and identity store ID are readily available from the SSO admin APIs, and the user ID can be obtained from the identity store APIs. For the sake of clarity, 
we'll focus on how to do this with the AWS CLI. We will audit the assignment of a user named user Sparky. First, we need to get the instance ARN of our IAM Identity Center instance, and we use the SSO admin API to do so. We use the query option to get the instance ARN and exclude the rest of the instance data. Next, we get the identity store ID. Similar to the previous command, we query for the identity store ID and exclude other instance data. Then, we get the user ID from the username using the identity store ID from the previous step. We first filter for the username user Sparky out of the list of all users in the identity store. Then we query the username attribute user ID. And finally, we get all account assignments for a specified user principal using user Sparky's user ID as the principal ID and the instance ARN from a previous command. If we wanted to investigate a group instead of a user, then we'd follow a similar process to obtain the group ID and use it as the principal ID and substitute the principal type for a group. For the demonstration coming up next, I will add two additional options to the CLI commands. The first is to specify a unique AWS CLI profile with short-term credentials called org identity admin. I use this profile that federates to an IAM role using short-term credentials to query IAM Identity Center. AWS recommends using short-term credentials instead of an IAM user with long-term credentials. The second option is to output as text for better readability, also helpful for scripting the output from one command as input for another. Let's go to a demonstration and see this in action. First, we get the instance ARN, adding the two optional parameters for the CLI profile and output format. Next, we get the identity store ID. Now, we use the identity store ID from a previous command to get the user ID for our user Sparky. And finally, we use the output from the previous two commands to get our user Sparky's account assignments. In the output, we see the target account ID and permission set ARN of the assignment, the associated principal ID of our user Sparky, and the principal type of group. This principal type is set to group because I made the assignment for the group that includes the user Sparky instead of just the user itself. Note that in this example, our user Sparky has two account assignments of the same permission set in two separate AWS accounts. If we wanted to investigate our user's application assignment, the process is similar, only using the list application assignment for principal instead of list account assignment for principal. We can use this methodology to run user assignment queries in an ad hoc basis or schedule periodically to run user audits and store them in an Amazon simple storage service bucket to provide historical evidence for future audits. Let's review what we've gone over. We've reviewed some fundamentals of IAM Identity Center. We saw the new IAM Identity Center APIs that allow you to list account and application assignment by user and group types. We saw how this helps with auditing workforce account assignments in AWS, and we saw a demonstration of using the new APIs to list account assignments for a particular user. I thank you so much for your time and attention. I hope you've learned something valuable, and happy building on AWS.